Hey guys, uh, welcome back to, uh, this is Instruct Lee, and um, welcome back to 3D printing tutorials. Uh, in this lesson, we're going to be uh, examining how you sign up for a Tinkercad account. Um, first, uh, the account creation process if you are under the age of 13, and second, the account creation process if you are age 13 and older. Now, um, there are a couple of different ways for you to register for an account, um, but Today we're only going to be examining the way that um, I want you guys to use for the upcoming April 2019 class. Um, yeah, so without further ado, let's get started. First, you want to point your browser uh, to www.tinkercad.com. Uh, this is the official website of Tinkercad, of course. Next, what we're going to do, if you don't, uh, next what we're going to do is we're going to uh, go ahead and click uh, Join Now. Now, if you guys already have an account. In Tinkercad, then um, that's okay. Just keep the account. Um, we'll be using it during the class as well, so you don't have to create a new account. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, you know just select the birthday and everything. Now this first account creation process is for those who are um, younger than age 13. Um, so if you are 13 or older, you can go ahead and just skip ahead. But yeah, so uh, since uh, Supposedly, I was born in 2019, not really. Um, so then I'm definitely less than 13 years old, and so I need to um, have my parents' email here. So this separate field right here only appears if you're under the age of 13. Um, so then your parents can see like what you're doing and stuff. So let's see, username, just some um, random username. How about test auto desk tinkercad, and then random string of numbers, and then password. And parents' email. For this, I'm just going to use a um, kind of like a disposable email creator. So, mailinator.com, it creates um, disposable email boxes. So, let's just say Tinkercad. Uh, no, actually, I probably I want a bit of a more um, not easily found web. Uh, sorry. So, let me just enter. String of numbers. This is just for testing purposes. In real life, you're going to be actually uh, entering in your um, parents' email instead of this. Um, so we're going to in at mailerator.com. All right, create that account. Um, oh, I guess my password didn't. Fill the requirement. All right, create. Wait a second. All right, there we go. And uh, here we are at Tinkercad. Um, Yeah, um, we are loading into our main dashboard right here, and uh, here's a dashboard. Now, uh, so this, because you're under 13, you, need, uh, you, you say this big get approved right now. Um, so this is just, right, of course, if you're under 13, you need to either uh, have your parents approve it, so you can use it by yourself, or use an invite code for the class. Now, we're going to be using the invite code. The code that I'm about to paste in right now isn't the code that, you're, um, that you guys are going to be using for the class. I'm going to give you guys... I'm gonna give you guys a different one, but uh, oops, guess I don't have one. It's okay. Anyway, so you guys can stop here right now. Um, yeah, so you you guys can stop here right now. You'll enter in the invite code um, during the class. Uh, we'll, we'll give it to you. Um, however, remember this is one very important thing. Okay, uh, if you're under 13, Tinkercad will only keep your account for 14 days. That's two weeks. So make sure that you don't create your account. Um, more than two weeks before the class, okay? Um, so yeah, that's it for 13 and under. Now let's examine uh, what should we should do if you're uh, 13 or older. Sorry, under 13 uh, and uh, 13 or older, yeah. So 13 or older, we'll just go ahead and enter in our first day that makes us 13 or older. And let's have an email, another random email, of course. Okay, this one. Uh, 
Wow, that's already registered. Wow. Um, let's see. that account all right so that's good we're done and um, right here you guys can stop this is it because since you are 13 and over audit uh, tier cat doesn't uh, make you get approved by any means and therefore just keep this account it'll be it'll be uh, it'll stick with you um, basically forever and um, yeah and so then you might be asking so then how do I view your files like how do I print out your files well, that's going to be in the class. I'll give you a Google Forms link, and you can go ahead and submit your files through the through Google Forms. Um, we'll go through that process during the class. But hey, that's it. And. Uh